Hi, so this is the last video in the playlist on circle theorems. Now it is pitched at uh, around about a star GCSE. Um, I'm going to do my best to draw it up on the board for you. Um, but basically what it concerns is a circle and in that circle you've got a triangle which is something like this, okay? And what we're told is, is that this chord and this chord are equal, okay? Uh, we also have a tangent to that, and we have a line that goes to the center of the circle, like that. And we're also finally told that this angle at the end is 58 degrees. So this is 58 degrees. Okay, I hope you can see that okay on the video. I'm going to take my time with this particular video and I might redraw some of that to uh, help you a little bit. Okay, so um, what we're being asked to find out is the value of this bit here. Okay, now I'm going to call it, uh, I'm just going to call it X. All right, now on the particular video, on the particular question you get, you'll get things like it's PQT and LPR and all this sort of stuff. Uh, my, my best advice is actually just to redraw the whole thing and ignore the, uh, the letters that they put on these types of questions. The reason I would suggest you do that is I think sometimes it just makes things a little bit clearer. Because what we've got is a tangent and a radius. Well, where a radius meets a tangent, we've actually got a 90 degrees. Okay, so in other words, this bit here is 98 degrees. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And we've got an angle that comes in at 58 degrees. Well, 90 degrees take away 58 degrees. So it means that we can put in our um, workings here this particular angle, which is going to be 90 take away 58, which is going to be 2, uh, 1, uh, 32. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'm concentrating a lot here. So that's 32 degrees. So 32 degrees, which means that we've now got a bit more information that this angle here is 32 degrees. So we're starting to build up a little bit of a picture because what we want now is to work out the value x here. Okay, well, um, the other thing that we're told is, is that we've got this great big triangle. Well, this triangle is actually an isosceles triangle. The reason it's an isosceles triangle is because both of these were told are the same length. So if I just kind of draw that out, I'll do my best to sort of duplicate that a little bit. We've got something like that. We're told this is the same and this is the same. Okay, which means that there must be a way of working out what this corner angle is. And this corner angle actually is this bit here, which is this this piece here. Now if we can get that it will allow us then to work out the value of x because we know a bit of it, we know 32 and 32 from whatever that angle is will give us the value of x. Okay well we can use something called alternate segment theorem where this is 58 degrees and because this is 58 then where it touches the circumference this is also 58 as well. Brilliant. So we're now in a position where we've got the ability to be able to work out this angle and this angle because they're, they're going to be the same because it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, so to work out the value of this angle and this angle, we're going to use, I'll, if I put my calculation uh, over here, if we've got 180 minus 58 is going to give us to uh, 122 degrees. So in other words, the total of these two angles, because it's an isosceles angle, uh, isosceles triangle is 122 degrees, which means that, and they're both the same, which means that both of those will be half of 122. So 122 divided by two means that this angle here is 61 degrees. Excellent. So now we should be in a position to work out the value of x because we know the overall angle 
is 61 degrees. Well, if we know the overall angle is 61 degrees and part of it is 32, which is this piece here, then the bit that's left is going to be x. So 61 take away 32 is going to be 29. So actually, this value of x is 29 degrees, which means that answers the question, this is 29 degrees. Okay, um, I hope that's been okay for you. Um, I will write a description of the question into the description box underneath. The difficulty obviously is with the drawing, so I'll do my best to describe it. Um, if you found it helpful, please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about it, do add a comment and I will come back to you. Uh, please subscribe to the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.